In this video, we will be answering the question on the screen from the 2022 Ordinary Level Maths Exam, Paper 1. If you are looking for any other questions from this paper, there will be a link in the description to a playlist that will have them all. This is question two, and it's made up of various algebra questions. Two part A asks us to solve this equation here. Two multiplied by the bracket that has three X minus five plus eight is all equal to four X minus five. When it says solve that, basically just play around with it until at the end you have X equals and just a number. Then try and get there. If you don't, you'll get a lot of temp marks by doing it. You've learned lots of things to do with these. You've learned how to move stuff. You've learned how to expand and multiply. So let's just start doing that. I see a bracket, two outside, two acting into it. Let's multiply it in. Two times three X is six X, minus two times minus five is uh, minus 10, plus eight equals four X minus five. Okay, what next can we do? Well, we can combine some of these numbers. Minus 10 plus eight, that's easy enough. Uh, six X, eight minus 10 is minus two, and that's equal to four X minus five. Next thing I wanna start thinking of is moving stuff over the equals. But I don't like saying that, so I, you'll always hear me say, take four X away from both sides. So if we take four X away from this side, and then to be fair, we take it away from this side. Six X minus four X is two X. And leave minus two where it is. Four X minus four X is nothing. So two, so that's this four X took away both sides. Uh, again, let's add two to both sides. Yeah, let's add two to both sides to get rid of this. Then we get um, two X minus two plus two disappears. Uh, minus five plus two is uh, minus three. Then we need to get rid of this two. So we divide both sides by two. Um, two X divided by two is just X is equal to minus three divided by two. And that's it. As I said, play around with it until we just have X on its own. And there we go. That's the answer. X is equal to minus three over two. Okay, part uh, B um, gives us this equation here and it asks us to write it in the form of three to the power of x. Very confusing for lots of people, but it's okay. They give you the answer. It's in your formula book. In your formula book, it tells you exactly how to deal with these rules. Um, you'll find it in a section called powers, maybe something along those lines. And for those getting confused by three to the power of k, what's k? They just want, at the end of all this, you'd get an answer that looks like three to the power of something, three to the power of four, three to the power of seven, three to the power of 20. Whatever it is, they just want three to the power of some number. They even tell you K is, ah, K is just a real number, so it might not be, it might be 4.7. But they want us to get to some sort of number at the end down here. Okay, how do we go about doing that? Um, there's, well no, the main place we probably start is this top row. Let's write it out the top row on its own. Three to the power of four to the power of five. If you open up your tables, you will see a rule that says <clears throat> something to the power of something that then is to the power of something is just equal to three times four multiplied by five. That's it, we just, that's how they interact. That's how two powers, a power of a power interact. They multiply. And well, that's just three to the power of 20. Bottom row is, is already done at three to the power of six. So let's uh, start the whole question again. On the top, we have three to the power of 20. And on the bottom, we have three to the power of six. Again, what do we do here? It's just one of our rules. It's just one of the rules. It's in the formula book. You can memorize it or you can just use a book. And that's um, when, two, uh, when two powers divide, they're... Um, Ex exponents, uh, I can't remember the word, um, just take away. So three to the power of 20 divided by three to the power of six is equal to three to the power of 20 minus six. And that's just equal three to the power of 14. And that's what they wanted the answer to look like. Three to the power of something. Three to the power of something. And the answer is three to the power of 14. All right, part C, it asks us to solve this uh, simultaneous equation for the values of X and Y. 
Now this, there's no excuse in this question. They ask it every year, something like it every year. In fact, it might even be on the exam twice when two lines intersect. You get something similar and um, it's come up in other sections as well. This will 100% be on your exam. A simultaneous equation question or something, even if it's hidden inside another question. So there's no excuse. You need to learn how to do this. So I'll assume you don't know too much about it. Um, what we have to do is match them up. We want to get it so the top row and the bottom row look a little alike. The two X numbers, maybe they're the same, or the two Y numbers to be the same. That's ideally what we want. And then we can just take them away or add them together. Now, I, I can go ahead and multiply the top row or the bottom row by any number, but I can't think of any number to multiply either of the rows to make it look like the other. So I'm gonna to have to multiply both rows. If I multiply the top row by five and the bottom row by two, look what'll happen. I'll get a 10 here and I'll get a 10 here. Now you could also have multiplied the top by seven and the bottom by three. You get 21 here and 21 here. That's fine. We'll, we'll stick to my method. Okay, multiply the top by five. Three X by five is 15 X. At uh, 10y, as we said, is equal to five. Again, multiply every one by five. Bottom row, let's multiply them all by two. So we get 14x plus 10y is equal to minus four. Multiply them all by two. You're allowed to do this because there's an equals here. Once you do the same thing to both sides of the equal, you're being fair. You're being balanced. I multiply the left by five, the right by five. I multiply the left by two, the right by two. Now what we do next is we, because these look alike, we can take 10y minus 10y, it'll disappear, there'll be no more y's. So if we do that, if we take the left side and take away the left side, and the right side five, and we'll take away minus four, so if we, that'll look like 15x minus 14x will just be x. 10y minus 10y will be nothing. Equals five minus minus four. Be very careful there. A lot of students will have missed that. It's five take away minus four. So we get plus four. Five plus four is nine. So that, there we go, x equals nine. Many students will now walk away. They'll go, I'm finished. I'm done that question. Next question. No, they did not ask you to find X. They asked you to find X and Y. We need to find Y as well. To do that, pick any equation you want. Even if you've done different equations, they'll all work. Pick any one of these you want. I'll just go ahead and pick the top one and write it again. So three X, three, ah, X. We know what X is. So don't write X, write the number you know. 3 multiplied by 9. When you're inserting something, put a bracket so you don't mix it up with 39. And uh, so 3x plus 2y is equal to 1. And uh, 3 nines is 27 plus 2y is equal to 1. And um, take both, take 27 from both sides. We have 2y is equal to 1 minus 27. Uh, oh, sorry, we can do this first. Uh, 2y is equal, one minus 27 is minus 26. Divide both sides by two. We get uh, 2y divided by two is y, and 26 divided by two is 13, and there's still a minus. So there we go, there's our answer. X is equal to nine, and y is equal to minus 13. I hope, um, I hope that helped you out. If you're looking for any other questions, just search on my channel. Hopefully they'll be there.